The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org slash action. While it may not seem like springtime yet, some Minnesotans can't wait to get outside and smell the flowers. For this week's In Focus, Mel Meyer got his hands dirty making succulent birdhouses. Park Rapids residents have taken shelter from the rain inside Kelly's Cottage Garden. Kelly Killinen has been hosting these classes in the greenhouse for the last three years. She's done a succulent vertical garden, fairy garden, and Christmas wreath class, amongst others. And I'm finding that people absolutely love to just come out here, even if it's just for an hour, and put something together with soil and plants. The dreary weather hasn't stopped the eight class participants from looking forward to the springtime. The participants of all ages drop by to create their own rooftop succulent birdhouses. We love to get our hands dirty into the succulents and I brought my 96 year old neighbor and she just loves it too. Marjorie Amick says she had no idea that there were so many different types of succulents. Although I have been to Arizona and different places where they grow normally, you never do actually know what they all are and don't pay that much attention, I guess. Kilinan says her favorite part is to see the different people come through the doors and be able to share the space with them. It's kind of a time where like family members get together and can visit and just sit side by side at a table putting something together, messing around in the soil. Three generations gather around this table. Renee Anderson brought her daughter, cousin and aunt to the event. It was a good chance to get together and do something a little different, a little out of the ordinary, so and to bring a little summer and spring into the dreary winter. <laughs> for Shar Jacobson, this was certainly an out of the ordinary experience. And for a first time student, she seemed to fare well, perhaps in part due to her teacher. Kelly was very helpful giving us the little little ideas on, on how to do it. In a few weeks, the class participants will be able to come back and see their birdhouse filled out. In Park Rapids with this week's In Focus, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.